ton of confidence. The big fella. Going to block on this first down pass. Complete on the opening. Let Sean White rip it out to the right side in a quick out route. Now they come back with the diesel. Pounds to the 40 yard line. Up under center. Got the jet sweep handoff on it because, and they come right back with Stowe. Just short of the first down. So the key on that's trying to get physical. They're playing with six offensive linemen right now, trying to push Oklahoma around. Stowe motions again. They come back with that way. Easy first down. Cruises across midfield. Steps away from it. Breaks two tackles, three tackles. Oh, my. Calls the plays on the Auburn sideline. First down and 10 on a good looking march to open the game. Prove that you can stop him. Then we'll stop handing him the ball. And Jordan Evans, they're all everything linebacker with that stop. It's a coordinator calling plays. Play action. Complete. That is when. Look at this trickeration here. And Oklahoma was ready for it. You could see. Snap. Oklahoma necessarily knew where to line up. Guys are pointing around. But a good job with the eye discipline. That play took way too long to develop. There's Jordan Evans, the leading tackler, making a big stop. Can't beat the trick plays in the bowl games. Carry on Johnson, number 21, his first carry of this game. Uh, he is close. Coming with tempo. Petway back in on third and two. Behind the right side of the offensive line for a first down. He moved it. Wildcat formation. Johnson. And a carry it to that right side. Was open. So White is back. And Petway's his running back. That way, in that time, it took five of our game. Second down and five. That way is tripped up. Third down and five. Rolling to the left. Going to keep it. Very close to a first down. It's a lot of big shots, but watch Evans 26 lower the boom on the quarterback. What a collision. A Sooner player is shaken up, and the training staff is tending to Jordan Evans after this hit. So he'll have to come off the field. He's getting some attention down there. So what a what the running back. Not much doing. Backfield forcing carry on Johnson to cut it back, sucking up second and long. White rolling right, deflected incomplete, and that was Jordan Evans who got a hand on it. His four interceptions on the season, his ball skills are outrageous for a linebacker. He just has a knack and an instinct for timing quarterback's throws. Now setting up third up behind center. Quarterback draw play. Couple of yards. Tackle by Evans, who made the play on that pass. Nine. UFC setting up to attempt a winning field goal after an interception. Quick throw by White is low. And Years to come are going to be big time players for this Auburn offense. Good. UFC. 52, Penn State 49, and here, Petway. Got Evans by, again yeah. on another stop. And first down and 10. 350. Quick pitch out to the outside. Will Hastings. Will Hastings. Second down now for the Tigers. In trouble. Throws it away. Third down and seven. White steps up in the pocket, incomplete. 
Texas Tech before transferring. People doubt him. He proves them wrong. He's got Petway. There's a penalty flag. Petway is brought down eight first down and five. Incomplete. The ground to help out Sean White throwing. Second down and five. That way breaks free for the first time. Hards after contact. He's trying again. And just like that, Brent, he always just seems to fall forward. Just like that at second and six. White it. Fake the end around. White. First down on a tough run. Fumble. Auburn recovers it. Stoops clearly did not agree with that decision. There's White. Pump fake. Going up over the top. Nursing that injury, and he clearly has been the best of the Auburn quarterbacks this year. There's that pitch now to Petway, and Petway stopped short of the first 35, but Petway has run for 43. First down. No mystery here, just straight up the gut, straight forward in a simple zone play. That play right there really is the bread and butter for this Auburn offense in the run game because then they can get the play action game going, they get the zone reads going with the quarterback. It gets tough. That way, short of the 30. And for all the Auburn fans asking, I will be back next season. I've got some unfinished business. And 26 to go. This offense has to get wide receiver Tony Stevens going. Incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> it's must watch TV. It We're doing is. season two now. <laughs> Petway's in there with Frank. Frank was a very good runner, by the way. And you know, that might have kept. Right. It does open up gaps inside now for the running backs. First down. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what a hit. Drove the big fella back. Yeah, he did. But it's a first down and 10, and here comes the scrambler. So Mike. Lay back. Do you want to start playing a spy? All different things now that he needs to consider. Another first down. Pat lays an open field. To outflank that D line. They're just sticking with number 36. First pass of the game. How about that? Right on the money to stoke the defense. Changed up at the line. Franklin going to fire again, and it's snatched out of the air at the four frame and catch radius. Reaching right. back and looking good. That was a twisting gain. Down and six. Firing ends in incomplete. To miss him. He could take off here in man-to-man -man situation and hurt you. Incomplete. Franklin to Petway. No game. For the quarterback to keep, he's right here. He's going to loop outside, daring Franklin to run his way. It's a good adjustment by Mike Stoops, the defensive coordinator. They weren't playing the zone read that way when Sean White was in the game. Johnson and Franklin takes it away, really. And Franklin keeps it. Not going to get the first down. Yeah, to the 30 yard line. People started playing better. This all happened around that LSU game. They've really gelled here as the season's gone along. That way, twisting and prevented. I'm now in the game. There's a blitz. Now they bring Pruitt. And it'll be second down. Attacking there on the edge. In 
incomplete, and it's third down. Play action. Drops it off, and it'll be four. The big fella has taken over as the quarterback. Beautiful throw on first down. Well, in a situation three and out on the three previous drives here in this half, and now they bring Stove around in for about a year. You see Johnson in the game, Franklin with his helmet on the sidelines. Johnson takes off on second and eight. You know, Jared up to his natural talent and capabilities, seeing if he can pull something out of the hat here late in this game. And it's great to see a youngster like this, though. You know, he... here's Petway. I don't know if he was able to keep down the field. They've got to try at least one. Sideline throw, and that is short. good looking drive here by Johnson. Steps up, fires deep, jump ball incomplete. Stevens again. Consistency, I think he's a first round pick. It's a four down scoreboard, 35 13, 10 to go. And they're going to need it, it looks like. That was Emmanuel Beal from Reynoldsburg, 13. Johnson in for the fourth down, not Petway. And there's the Wildcat to the 30-yard line. That's the first drive of the game. Down on the 15-yard line. Very on. Back to the night. Johnson in zone. Intercepted. Picked off. By Jordan Thomas, Jesse, who you... Jess Auburn's longest gain tonight is only 16 yards. And that came back in the first half by Petway. That's Johnson. The Bad weather. Sooners fans will remember him in a snowstorm against West Virginia. Rainstorm against Oklahoma State. Didn't